Hi guys, today's tutorial we're going to do a 3D ocean effect in Photoshop. The first thing we've got to do here is duplicate the background. Yep. Now with this one clicked, clicked, edit, transform, counterclockwise. Just about there. I'm going to get the lasso tool. Come on the top corner there. Come right down, right down to this corner here. You're going to hit the mask tool. Just trying to where you get that image. That will fix that kind of vision, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm just going to nudge the image up because that part there is not matching up. So I'll just nudge it up. There we go. Hold down the shift key. And I'm just going to bring the bottom bit down. Just so that nudge will be fixing. That's it. Touch of the rafter. Good. Okay, now this part here we've got to delete. So I'm going to use the rectangular marking tool. I'm going to throw it across the top here like that. Make sure we've got the picture selected, not not the mask. We've got the picture selected and delete. Okay, now we can flatten the image now. And if we can, we just select here, copy, paste, and mask. Bring the mask to there. Click and tap. Uh, the mask it a little bit more. Click and tap. Right. And that's what we want. Now here, what we're going to do, we're going to put a light line on the edge. A light line here. Pen tool, paint, uh, paintbrush, another layer, click at the top, hold down the shift key, and paint like that. For the blend mode, take it down to soft light, and then bring the opacities over. Now we can flatten that. Next, we're going to get the spot healing brush. We're going to draw straight along that line, zigzag it a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want it to be perfect. You want it to have a little bit different. That way, it gives us that effect that it's not straight. So, so you see it's on an edge. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to go into the image a bit here and just check to see what we've got. That's good. Now this side here, it's got to be darker. Right, so what we're going to do is just going to get another layer. Click them here. Go to the bottom here, like that. We're going to fill it with black. And select. Now take the opacity down. And that's what we want, like that. That's good. Now, trying to zoom in. Some of the black area, see here? I'll take it back off. That's where the line is. The black has actually gone over the line. So we're going to use the eraser tool. Nice, decent size, nice and soft. And we're just going to go across like that. It's a little bit too big. So we're just going to go across like that. Down a bit more. It's going to round this, these edges off a bit. We don't want it too sharp. So we've got that sharp line. Well, the waves aren't that sharp, so that's not what we want. And that part there is going to be darker, so we get the pen tool. And we fill in that area with the eraser tool. So come down. So that area there is higher, a lot higher, higher. Now we've got that. Depth. There. 
So this way you've got the zigzag effect. So making it look more realistic. It's very deep. <laughs> Looks like it's a big drop. Okay, we're going to flatten the image now. Now we're going to go back in and use by sending brush again. And we're just going to join in these little areas like that. Just going to just touch these areas up so they blend in more. So this area here, like that. I get it coming down, like that. More of that. Of course, as you get closer to the camera view, the more detail there is. Getting there nice and slow. This is good. Looking well. Alright, so that should do for that. This stage. Looking good. Pop a new layer. Now we're just going to move in here. And we'll paint in with the paintbrush some spray. It's a nice light colour. Now to your palettes, to your brushes here, we've got these things like splatters, you've got all these different ones like this. Um, these are default ones. So I'm just going to use that and come down and because we're on a new layer, I did hit new layer, I'm just going to, just dabs, little dabs like that, that's, that's it. I mean I use a pen and tablet and I can use the pressure sensitive part, so just like that. I'm just going to zoom out so that we can get to our razor tool and use the same brush and just go in where it's a little bit too white stuff like that so this looking good I'll do a bit more here I'll change the angle Razor tool do the same thing, takes a little bit back. Let's have a look to see what that looks like. It looks pretty good. Right here, do the same thing. And the razor tool. So it eases back. Now you can, of course, sharpen that. You have to sharpen, sharpen more. And that looks a little bit too unreal, unrealistic, so we might try and do that. Yeah, there are things that you can do. All right. So that's that part there. Up here, we're going to do the same thing. Smaller, not as big. And more intervals. Get the razor to do the same thing. All right, so that's looking quite good. Now, here we've got this white wake here, and we don't have it on the other side on the top. So, what we're going to do, we're going to flatten the layer. Gonna copy that area just there. Just copy it and paste. 
to transform that around like that. I'm going to flip it, edit, transform, flip horizontally. I'm just going to put it there like that. I'm going to use the razor tool, nice big size, and make sure we get a nice round, soft brush for this. I'm just going to blend this in a bit more. Now, now I'm going to change the lightning, lighting, lightning, to lighter. Like that, that'll do. That gives us that little depth going on there, but right to the edge. Just want to make sure. Get rid of that part there, see. Yep, yeah, that looks good. The trick is don't go too far. Uh, the trick is to know when to stop. What else like this? We're going to get this boat. We're going to put this out, but we're just going to add him to the picture. Just to put a bit more emphasis into it. So I copied and paste. Just put him straight into here. Now we're going to change this, transform it so it's the way around. I'll put it centering in that part. That'll do. I'm just going to get the magic eraser tool. Now I've got a tolerance down to 30. And what I'm going to do here. I mean, okay, the first thing I can do is change the color tones or hues and saturations. I'm going to change them a bit. Let's get two blues. We want the closer. So if we get closer to the actual water, this is going to change color as well. So we'll start there. We're going to go, we'll go back to it again, hues and saturations. And we're going to get this little key here. It's going to the eyedropper. And we want the blue. So what we're going to do with the blue, we're going to change that the saturation. We're going to put it down. And change this like that. Don't want to go too far. Lightness. Okay. Now we're going to get the magic eraser tool. Just click on the areas very gently, not too much. This area that I'm working on now is fine. Take that off so I know what I'm dealing with here. I always like to put that background in there so you can see what you're dealing with. And very slowly, take my time doing this, getting that out of there. Now, it's a good thing to do, of course, when you're doing something like these composites, save every time. So save. Because if you have any mistakes or issues or problems and you think to yourself, oh, no, I've gone all that way and I made a big mistake, you can always just start over again. Or start go back to what you missed. So I'm doing this very gently, very slowly. I don't want to ruin too much. Now, see, I've gone too far. What I've done now is taking out half the ship. So Control Z, go back a couple more times. Uh, about, no. Now what it is is because it's got the wake going in there, and when I've hit the razor tool here, it's taken out the wake. So we're going to have to use the eraser tool, the normal eraser tool. This is 100%. Take that down to about 40. And we have to be in the, the brush now, brush size down. And we want it so that it looks good. It doesn't look unrealistic. Now that weight there. We'll fix that up later. We'll probably duplicate that area and put it over here. 
That's fine. I might just put the opacity back up. Yeah, got to be careful with the black part here. So that's the shadow of the boat. Got to make sure that we don't get rid of that. I'm just doing zigzags all through this. I'm not going too far into too much detail. Getting there slowly. And the good thing is with the opacity being not 100%, uh, it blends in whatever you're doing. And you always go back to it and make it darker and darker and darker as you go. Now, I think the best thing to do here is to get rid of that, the anchor. So I'm just going to get a small, get the opacity up. Get rid of that one. Get rid of these anchors because we don't, it's not, it wouldn't be anchored in the middle of the ocean like that while it's, you know, sinking. <laughs> All that type of stuff. Right. Now, this part here, that's easily fixed. We just go like this and do content aware. Go like that. Fill and go to content aware. Done. No, it's not that dark, but that's all right. That's no problems. And I've got that like that. Now, take the opacity back down. I'm really going to try and blend this in as much as I can here. I'll go wider and go low in opacity. Going to lower in the opacity it lets me still do that shadow and it's not getting rid of the whole entire thing. Slow as I go. It's looking good. All right, down the back here, what we're going to do, see, you just got that square on the edge. Put the opacity back up. Put the Press it back up, uh, take the size back down, just get rid of that. Uh, this part here, uh, you know what, we could probably get around this. Go down size and take the opacity all the way up. Might just zigzag around this, let it blur in a bit more, a little bit. Too harsh. All right, that's looking better. Now, unfortunately, that boat <laughs> looks a little bit too big for the size of the area or small, uh, but that's good. All right, so I'm just going to blur the boat. So we're going to blow a little bit, not too much. And we're going to take the adjustments, exposure. We're going to take the this down, slow it down. Not too much. A little worse. Yeah, we've got that issue. So, there we go. Like that. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. It's just for the tutorial. So, that is looking quite good. Might have even changed the colour. A bit more blue. More like that. So it's got that blue haze to it in the distance. The other thing you could do later on, I was going to do this, have the boat across the edge like that. But it'd be just too much. You'd have to do another tick. And we've got the boat already sitting in there like that, so it's fine. 
Okay. We might even go a bit more detail here. Nice big size. Opacity right down. We might just get that to zero. All right. That's looking good. Now we're just going to flatten the layer. Now we're going to do a new, what they call, new uh, solid color. Oh, not group, go back, get rid of that group. New solid color. Let's see black. Well, not so much black, but a grayish color. And we're going to take the, the um, we're going to take the layer down to blend mode and then take it down to exclusion. Right. And relevance. Make it relevance up a bit. Get that color back in there. No saturation. No, not too much saturation. Right, so that's looking good. Okay, layer, flatten. Oops, I flattened it <laughs> too quick. All right, now we go to color balance. That in there, and the blues. Something like that. I'm going to flatten the layer, add a new layer, and you want to fill it in with white. Blend mode down to here. Intensity right down to the layer button. Now we're going to get the image exposure. Expose it down. Let's blend that up. There we have it, guys. I'm just going to do some minor little touch adjustments here. So the thing is, when the hues and saturations you muck around with those, everything goes dark, purple, yellow, all that type of stuff. So it's not worth it. So I used to go for the color balance. Color balance is better. Get a nice blue there going. Might just make the brightness of this whole entire thing with contrast. Yep. And that's it, guys. That's how you do the 3D ocean effect. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the next video. Cheers.